we talked about quite a few different strategies to use to add things like counting on or um, making a 10 using double. All of those are great strategies if the numbers are pretty small. However, you probably know that in second grade, we started working with adding some double digit numbers. Same is true in third grade. We'll be working with double digit and even triple digit numbers. So using strategies like counting on might not be the most efficient way to add. The main strategy that we're going to be focusing on to add is using place value. Remember, place value is using the different spots and what they mean in order to add numbers. So go ahead and underline the words place value, or you can circle them, that's fine. Adding the specific places. And when I say places, I mean one. about the ones, tens, and hundreds, but after the ones, tens, and hundreds comes the thousands, the ten thousands, the hundred thousands. Yep, so you're going to put your equation, and then you need to make your t-chart and label it, because these are the two place value strategies we've got. Oh. Our goal is by the end of third grade, we are only using place value numbers. But I know that you might not be ready for that yet, that might not be comfortable yet. So if you still need to work with place value drawings, that's completely fine. It's 75. It's just that our goal would be to use place value numbers by the end of the year. 79. Are you writing this down, please? Marley, do you have a question? Um, yes. Are we going to do estimation too? Yes. So let's think about this equation. What might be a reasonable answer? The equation says 27 plus 52. That's like 79. What's a close to number for 27? That would be easier for us to add. What's a close to number to 27? That would be easier for us to add. Ava? 20. 20, sure. What's a close to number to 52 that would be easier for us to add? Julian? 50. 50. What's 20 plus 50? Cole? 70. 70. It's 79. Would I expect my answer to be close to 70? Yes. yes. Yeah, that's a reasonable answer. Now notice that we went from 27 down to 20. 
52 down to 50. Do you think 70 is going to be bigger or smaller than our real answer? Don't yell it out, Reese. Do you think 70 is going to be bigger or smaller than our real answer? Kelly, what do you think? Do you think bigger? Did we make our numbers bigger? So smaller. It's going to be smaller because notice we went 27 and we went down to 20. 52, we went down to 50. So we expect our answer to actually be bigger than 70. All right, place value drawings, just a review. A square is worth 100, just like your hundreds flat that you use in your math kit. A stick, a rod, is worth 10. Your tens rod is worth 10. And then your little bit, which I just make a dot, is worth 1. So just a reminder, those are the pictures we're working with. Do that? Yep. Okay. Draw them and then do a little squiggle because that's not actually what we're adding. All right, Samaya, we need to build the number 27. What am I going to draw to represent 27 with these pieces? Am I going to use a hundreds flat? No. I'm going to use some tens. How many tens would I use? Say it again. I'm going to use 20 tens. 20 tens? That could be 20 tens. Two tens. There we go. Let's draw two tens. And then how many ones? We got two tens. How many ones? Five. Five. Everyone, help oh, me out. Seven. seven, right here. Seven in my ones place. I like to arrange my ones like a tens ring, so I put five in a row. And I do my two down below. I, I drew out. No, I drew out twenty-seven using base ten pieces. I could take those pieces and make it. So far, so good. Yeah. Underneath that, we need to make the number 52. What do I need to build the number 52? Go for it, Marley. You need five tens and two ones. Five tens, one, two, three, four, five, and two ones. When I am using place value, I'm going to add together the things that are the same. That means I'm going to add the ones together. Because they're all the same piece. And I'm going to add the tens together. Circle all the ones. How many total ones are there? Nine. Archer? Nine. 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 Say it again. Nine. Nine. Then circle all of the tens. How many tens are there? Seventy. Not seventy. Seven. Seven tens. But Addison, we know seven tens is the same value as seventy. So yeah, now we have I'm seven. writing, you are writing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I I so we know that we've got seven tens. Seven tens is worth seventy. So far, so good. Yeah, we got this. We're good with this. Okay. We're gonna do the same thing, but we're just gonna use the number version. So let's look at twenty-seven. I have two tens. Plus seven. Could I write seven ones? Yeah. Yes. But I know that if I just leave it as seven, seven is equal to seven ones. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to look at my next number. 
How many tens do I have in 52? It's not a trick question. Corbin? Five tens. Five tens. Five tens plus two. I could write two ones. That's fine. If you want to write two ones, you can. Again, I'm going to add the things that are the same. The thing count. The thing counter. The thing unit. Seven ones and two ones gives me a total of how many ones? Fabric? Nine. Nine ones. Two tens plus five tens gives me how many tens? So yeah, seven. Seven tens. Seven tens plus nine Five. is equal to seventy-nine. Seventy-nine. Now I want you to think for yourself. You don't need to tell me. You don't need to answer it out loud. Think about which strategy you're most comfortable with right now. It might be you're not telling me. It might be still drawing, and that's okay. If that is what is more comfortable for you, that's fine. If you're thinking, you know what, I could break apart and just write my tens and ones, or my hundreds, tens and ones, that's fine. Our goal is to all be here. But if you're still feeling like you should do this a little bit longer, that's okay. Turn the page. This is your new title. It's a question. It says, what happens if you have too many ones? to fit in the ones place. Write the question down. You some of you may already know. Guys, some of you may already know. Please don't yell it out at me. Please just write the question down. Make the other What's the most one that can fit in a ones place? the most one. Hmm. Sort of? Nine. Nine. Nine is the most. What number comes after nine? That's not a trick question. Emma? Ten. How many ones are in the ones place in ten? In the ones place. Let me write the number 10 up here. Here's our ones place. How many ones are in the ones place? Nine. Not in 10. One. No, the ones place is right here. So the most ones that can fit in the ones place is nine. Now, can I build any number with ones? Yes. Yeah, I can build one million with ones. But the only digit that can fit in the ones place, or the highest digit that can fit in the ones place, is nine. So, what do I do? I went to nine, and now I made. Ten. I went up a number. Thanks for raising your hand, Bill. What do I do with those ones? Make. Make the tens or hundreds place bigger. Yeah. We do something. We carry the one. We just put it there. So a lot of parents have a language that says carry. Mm -hmm. And mathematicians carry have decided on. that that's not the best word to use. And so we've introduce a new word. So the new word that I would like you to use is we regrouped. A lot of your parents, and me included, when I went through school, I heard the word carry. But mathematicians have said, you know what, carry is maybe not the best word to use. We like regrouped better. That's more mathematically correct is what's happening. So if your parents say, oh, you just carry it. Just know they mean regrouping. They're just not using the same word. Yes. Do you think it took them a long time to come up with another name? No. So what happened is if we had 10 ones, one, two, three, 
for time. We know that we can't put 10, we can't squish a tiny 10 into the one place. Mm -hmm. We regroup, we rearrange that into a 10 rod. Mm -hmm. So if we have too many ones in our, in our one place to squish in there, we regroup them so that we can make those 10. And then they can go in the tens place. Our value is still the same. We're not changing anything. We're just making it look a little different. Beautiful. Did we hear what Bowen just said? Yes. yes. So even though Bowen's noticing, even though this is ten ones, and that looks different than just one ten, my value isn't changing. My number is still going to be the same value. It's just going to look a little different when we rearrange. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna solve the problem 49 plus 13. Go ahead and write that down. Fantastic. I'm gonna use place value numbers. I would like you to use place value numbers with me, even if you feel more comfortable with the pictures. How many tens are in 49? How many tens are in 49? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Four. Four. Beautiful. Four so ten. Add one to four. How many ones are in forty nine? Avery? There are um, nine ones. Nine ones. How many tens are in thirteen? Art? One ten. How many ones are in 13, Penelope? Three. Three. When I add my nine and my three, what's my total one? I have nine ones plus three ones. How many total ones do I have broken? Twelve. I have 12 ones. Can I squish the number 12 no. in one place? No. 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 I need to rearrange 12. Can I get a 10 out of 12? Yes. yes. Can I get a 10? No. no. You can't just, get a 10. You just gotta make a 10. I can't get one 10 though. Right? Yes. yes. I can get one 10. So 9 plus 3 becomes 1 10. And what was left over? Three. Two. 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 Remember, two. this became 12, so it's 1, 10, and 2. So you put the 2 on the 4. We still have, nope, 2 does not go on the 4, because the 4 is 10. It's not two tens. it's only 1, 10. 2 is our 1. No, you add 2 to 4. 2 adding 4 plus 1 plus 1. 4 tens plus 1, 10. Four tens plus one ten. It's the one on that. Ava? Six. Nope. Four tens plus one ten is not six. Think about it a little bit more. Four tens plus one ten. So I'm gonna help her out? Fifty. Fifty. Five tens. Now I've got Five tenths plus one ten plus two. I could add my tens again. I've got the same unit. That would be six tens plus two. That makes it way easier for me. Emma, what's my total number? Sixty-two. Sixty-two. Are there any confusing spots? No, I don't need no. I just need you to look, and if there is, then I need a yes. I do not need an ounce of no, though. Connor, what's up? Mm -hmm. Right. So far, so good. No. Mm -hmm. Question. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. What is? You guys are pretty good at what happened if there are too many ones. Mm -hmm. 
But there can be too many pins. Go ahead and write that question at the top, please. What happens if there are too many pins in the pins plate? Thank you for revealing the Oh, you're right. The highest digit that can go in our pins place is still nine. Which would be 90. 90 something. 91, 92, 93. Doesn't really matter. 95. What's going to happen if I get too many 10s? We learned a word. You wrote it in your notebook that we need to do because we can't squish them in the tens place even though it would be so cool if we could. Go on, what was that word? Regroup. We have to regroup. But you're going to do it the opposite way. You have to regroup it on the one. We're going to find out what we have to regroup. We have to regroup, rearrange it. If there's too many tens, we need to build something with those tens. What could I make with those tens? Hmm. Let's think if we had like a whole bunch of them. Could you build something? Oh, yeah. I'm not yeah. saying like a house or anything like that. Like an actual value. Marlon, you can make a hundred. I can make a hundred. So if I have a bunch of tens, I can start making hundreds with them. All right, let's do our place value numbers. We've got a three-digit number, which means I'm going to have hundreds. All right, how many hundreds are in 162? 162. Um, two. There are 100. 100. I'm going to write one H. If you want to write the whole word hundred, go for it. I'm not writing the whole word. Same. But if you want to write it, go for it. Cool, how many tens are in 162? Nope. Yes, but in the tens place. Six. Six. I don't know. How many go for it? How many ones are in one hundred and sixty two? Two. Colby, how many hundreds are in two hundred and fifty two? Two hundred. Connor, how many tens are in 252? Five. In the tens place, there are five of them. How many ones are in 252? Now I'm going to add my light units. I'm going to add all my ones up. Two ones plus two ones. Four. 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 Did I need to regroup? No. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Did I need to regroup? Or can no. I? No. No, I don't have to regroup. It's fine. Four is fine. Four ones can go there. Everything is fine. All right. Let's go to our tens. I've got six tens and five tens. How many tens is that? Um, eleven. Which eleven. We eleven. 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 Eleven.
Okay, so Art said, I regrouped, I love that language, quickly, Connor, I regrouped my 11 pins to make a 100 and one pen left over. So far, so good. All right, let's look at our 200, or our 100 plus our 200. 100 plus 200 is how many hundreds? Three. 300. 300. So now I have three hundreds plus one hundred plus one ten plus four. I'm going to add these hundreds together. Ava, what's three hundred plus one hundred? Four hundred. Plus one ten plus four. What is that going to be worth? Four hundred plus one ten plus four. Cool. Four hundred and fourteen. Four hundred and fourteen. Beautiful. 